changes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tanky Online qualification round of setups. We have Next versus Maldova today, and Dage is going to be commentating with me today. How are you doing today, Dage? I'm doing very good. Let's see what's going on in setups now. Yeah, I think it uh, took a little bit for them to actually get the official restart here. They kind of made like three battles. It was a bit uh, slow paced there, but uh, I think uh, we're going to have a good match today. Four rounds. Um, we're going to be giving out promo codes as well, so stay tuned for that, guys. And I think the round actually just started here. Let's get straight into it. Yep. So on the Moldov, we have Burkett, Kenya, Storm, Octi, Bentley, and I exclusive. And then on next, we have I Legas, Onex, Party, ILV, Nobleman, and 1M4U7S3. That nice name there. Numbers. Yeah, a lot of numbers. Yep. Right now, Onex is trying to push in here. He has help from, I'm just going to call him 1M. One, one, one Jeez, I can't even say that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was a failed push there. Onex is going to be taken yep. out here by Bentley. We have good equipment for I Exclusive. He's going to be doing a lot of damage with that uh, with that Vulcan and Viking. Mm -hmm. Vulcan's pretty overpowered, especially right now. So it's be crazy to not see a Vulcan on one on either team there. Exclusive yep. just spawned in. He's going to take out 1M. And then Legates is actually going to take him out there. Yeah, the good thing for Legates is he does have Vulcan protection, so he can go against the enemy team's Vulcan and expect to win. Burkitt is pushing in here, trying to take out LV, but he gets taken out instead. That's third time Legates has killed I exclusive in a row. So they are really lacking on getting that Vulcan out of their base. Mm -hmm. Bentley pushing over the small bridge here. Storm and Octi coming here to help. Bentley gets taken out. That's two versus three now. While opposite side on the big bridge, exclusive Ooh. Kenya and Burkett all pushing as well. Exclusive staying back to get his Vulcan shots off. Both sides get taken out there. Party and Onex pushing in here now. Octi and Bentley there to defend. Noble Exclusive, no one there behind. Wow, Noble, no one's noticed Noble, man. He's going to go out from the backside, and he's going to be able to 1v1 Octi out of there. Octi Should be doesn't a have a good armor, bit. so... Yep, I, ILV coming in for support as well. On the other hand, Burkett has picked up the flag. He's going through the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm mean, through the middle of the long bridge, but it looks very weak. Party Both coming up. Both have the flags. Party can do good damage to I exclusive. Mm -hmm. Octi's the only one there to try and return this flag while he still can, and then while he has health, he's going to be taken mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, but the, they are really low on health. They sh should be switching the flag up. Bentley and Storm coming in to return the flag. Mm -hmm. uh, Lege's good there. Push coming in Lege's here from Party. Did Lege's change? Uh, no, he didn't. Yeah. Uh, it might be a return. Oh, Octi comes in from the yeah, back to pick up the flag. On the opposite end, Nobleman trying to return here. He oh, oh wow, Storm actually does return. Actually got return. Not not yep. Nobleman, but uh, Storm. Yep. So there's going to be first capture in the favor of Moldova. A lot of N Star members on Moldova team on the Moldova team there. Right now. LV and 1M are pushing into the base, seeing what they can do here. Both already used the repairs. Yep. LV gets taken out. Looks... 
Bentley's the one in defense right now. He's doing Bentley has been using that auto cannon and in the previous matches also it although they did not win, but it did help him a lot. But yeah, this match he hasn't been doing that well. Yeah, big push coming in from next right here. Nobleman sneaking around the back. Maybe he can pull something off here. Octi does notice him. His double armor's going to be running out here, though. Octi Ooh, does get taken out but late. Yeah, but he has taken out Octi for his teammates. Now Legas can push in. He's going to be able to take out Bentley really easily. Kenya is not looking back. I exclusive might be able to get the kill here. Legas going in to go to the drop-off point. Yeah, There's no one to pick it up. Yeah. Storm, Storm against every return. Nothing else happening right here. LV tries for a unsuccessful push. Or not LV, he was defending there. My bad. Bentley gets taken out. Kenya an exclusive over on Big Bridge. Lege Zane Party both noticed them. I guess mm -hmm. Kenya was completely forgotten about. They just wow. let him walk Big. by. He's taking the flag now. Big push what coming in from next as well. Yeah, both teams are going to probably pull the flag here. Well, I guess gets taken out right before he could do any damage to Kenya, but Onyx might be able to get the kill on Kenya here. Flag's dropped off to I exclusive. Dang. Nobleman picks up the flag. Is this going to be a second capture? What was Next doing? They completely let Kenya just walk into the base. Yeah, and he walked right out the middle as well. Mm-hmm. They looked at him and then looked away as if nothing happened, and he was able to pull the flag from that. Right now, 1M gets taken out, pushing into Moldova's base. Ooh, there is a first hit in the middle that he could have possibly gone to, but he's just going to sit there at the back and try and do some damage for his, allowing his, his teammates to get the flag. But mm -hmm. Nobleman is left with no support, and he's going to go down. Yeah, Bentley's trying to push over the small bridge. He runs out of double armor or double damage. He's going to be probably taken out here by Nobleman and LV. Onex also gets taken out. Burkett pushing into... Party picks up the flag. Kenya is taken out. There's only four members from Next and two members from Moldov. Burkett, on the other hand, has started pulling the flag. Mm -hmm. Legis like... is going to be able to win against Bentley here. Yeah, he was just doing insane damage, especially when he gets double damage down. Yep. Still 2-0 lead right now for Moldova. Three minutes left in this round. Next, it's a bit surprising that they're losing, especially since they're on blue side. Blue side has a bit more advantage. Yeah, this indeed. Round. And as we've known, like uh, many of the players are a bit, I would say, a bit more experienced with esports. Like we know, Legas, who was previously uh, has ha held the champion paint. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we did ex kind of expect them to be a bit more. We definitely didn't think that they would be the underdogs. He's yeah. losing 2-0 in the first round. Mm -hmm. They tried to do a push just recently, but they failed. Four players all got destroyed. Um, Storm pushing over Small Bridge here. Maybe he can do something to help out Kenya. Kenya does take out LV. If, if they don't make the call out, he's just going to be able to pull this flag. Yep, uh, LV, LV gets LV the spawn down. right behind. Kenya is going to pick up the flag, but he, ooh, he does have a first aid, but he's not going to go any distance. Mm-mm. Nobleman pushing to the middle of the enemy base. He does get support from 1M now, coming in to support LV and Onyx too. Storm spawns in as well to defend. Onyx is coming across. He needs to help out now before Maybe LV. Maybe he out. could be the one to pull the flag. If LV can take out Bentley, oh, they need to take out Bentley, very but difficult. They can That's going to be a 3v1 there. And they get taken out. Unsuccessful push from next. Nobleman and Lagos. Coming across the small bridge again. They may both get taken out fast. And they do. I think they're just trying too hard to push on one side. Right now, they're mainly most of their pushes have come across from small bridge. And I think that's where they're failing the most. Oh, no one notices Onyx. Oh, oh that makes it a great a song. I wonder how these games would go if they're, they had invincibility on spawn, like in matchmaking. Yeah. That'd be interesting to see. But yeah, that's that exactly happened, what I just noticed with Bentley spawning. Mm -hmm. Bentley was shot right away. Yeah, he was already down to two-thirds health. 
it would be really uh, OP if he would have been able to take uh, no damage and do good damage with his uh, auto cannon there. Exactly. Oh, cool. party going in from the back side. No one has noticed him yet. Octi is the only one in there in defense. Party's going to be pulling this flag as well. Octi is going to go down. He does. It's quite late. He does do a good amount of damage. That's going to be a pull for next. Actually, the flag has been dropped off to Lagos. And they're yeah, not. Burkitt is also pulling the flag. Both yep. teams are pulling right now. Onex needs Onex to Onex might oh, be able to oh, return. Oh. Burkitt Legis doesn't have to. Flips. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, just they, yeah. The there was just not good communication on the bridge. It was blocked uh, for quite a long time. But Nobleman is actually going to get the flag here. But yeah, that's a very difficult position to get out of. Mm -hmm. yep, they need to the take out Octi. Yep, he has managed to get some way, but again, blocked by his own teammate. I am one am. On the other hand, Lagos is actually going to go for the next push. He's going to pick up the flag here. Bentley is the only one standing in his way right now. Storm coming into support. 20 he seconds left. Across. It's not quite enough. Bentley notices that and he just blocks off that side push. LV and 1M all pushing here. 12 seconds, impossible to cap the flag now. First round's going to go to Maldova. Congratulations to them. Yep. LV trying to make this last push, but sadly unsuccessful because he didn't have enough time. He could have gotten the cap there, honestly. But that's going to end round one. And guys, the form's now going to open and make sure to put your names in the form if you want to have the chance to win a promo code. Good luck to you guys. Let us know what you guys think. Who's going to win, Maldova or next? So far, it looks like Maldova's going to pull up just because they won red side of tribute. So that's not usually seen. Usually you see blue team being the more successful team, especially on this map because they have the upper side on blue side. 2-0 victory for first round. Good job by them. What are your thoughts, Dage? Who do you think is going to win this? Yeah, I mean, seeing that Moldova did perform really well uh, in the first round and considering that blue side is a bit of an advantage in this map, so could be that they take the win again. Mm -hmm. That's going to be really uh, uh, necessary for them because they did not manage to get their three points last time around, so this time there is a chance to catch back up onto the table. Yeah. While we're waiting, uh, any thoughts on Tanky's birthday coming up? It is June 6th, so my birthday's June 5th, the day before. That's kind of funny. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, well, it's going to be... Uh, like, er every year, that's the most uh, anticipated time. Because definitely, I I hope that they will bring back the game. If they also know. had a... Do you remember the event from last year where you could do all these, like, challenges and get points? And then, like, the number... Or top 10. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm definitely going to yeah. participate in that this time because the rewards are insane. Containers, crystals, in real life items. Mm, yeah, and just, con yeah, that's the thing. That real life items, that, that just makes a big difference. Yeah, I barely even tried and I surprisingly got like top 20. So it's like if you actually put effort into it, you have a real chance at. So reset here in 20 seconds. Round two will start. Any equipment changes? I don't notice anything major, if there even is any. Um, oh, well, there's one thing that I can definitely say that I exclusive is not running. Uh, what's it called? Vulcan protection. So he is gonna be a bit mm -hmm. more uh, confidence confident going against I Legas now. Yeah, I see like one, two, four pro Vulcan protections on uh, Maldova's team. Vulcan's definitely a turret you're gonna have to watch out for. It's definitely the Indeed. best turret right now. So. So good job by them to all taking that protection. Even though there is only one player with Vulcan on the enemy team, but still. Right now, Burkett pulling the flag. He's going to get taken out, though. Nothing really important happening right here. Onex pushing through the middle. He gets taken out fast. Party sneaking around Moldova's base, who gets noticed by both Octi and Burkett. Um, Octi and Burkett pushing over Small Bridge here. Maybe they can do something. They need to take out Nobleman, and they do. Octi's going to have fire damage, though, so he's going to get taken out. And Burkett also gets taken out. Meanwhile, LV and Onyx pushing into 
next space. LV is going to take this flag. His double armor does run out, though. He needs help from Onyx here. Good, yeah, Storm did a good job at uh, defending for the entirety of the beginning of Yeah, they he really did a good job at not letting them. Yeah, your voice is lagging out a bit there just because Discord regions can change. Uh, party pushing around back here. Nothing really big happening. LV is going to also try and push here. LV gets taken out as well as Party. Burkut and Octi pushing over Small Bridge here. Maybe they can. They need. They need to take yep. out. Legacy is going to be taken out. LV and Noble. Uh, Nobleman, the only one. Legacy gets a long life there, actually. Mm -hmm. I think Octi took. I mean, kind of stopped looking at the Vulcan a little bit too early. Yeah, that's true. Legacy was able to get a ton of shots off still. Storm, Octi, and Burkut over on Small Bridge. Oh, oh, they're getting awkward. hit by their own teammates. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to get through this bridge without actually mm -hmm. falling off because there's just, like, medium hulls take a lot of space. Yeah, exactly. The other hand, Onyx starts pulling, and he does have good oh, wow. support with Legus and LV. Yeah, this could be a push here. He has help from his entire team. They need to take out Octi here. Ooh, that he LV has a clear run home. home. No one coming from short bridge either, so this is going to be a capture. Yeah, party nobleman helping defend there. Hey, first capture for next, or yeah, I think it's yeah, next. They... yeah, it is next. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to remember what teams are on each side, just because clan tags usually let us know. Yep. Now they have Burkett and Octi trying to push. Nobleman is quite low, so it might be good for him. Uh, Octi could have used that first hit a bit earlier. Legge's just demolished uh, Octi there. Yeah. I think his dan his health went down fast. Legge self destruct, right. and, and that's not even just it. Yeah, that's Octi also has look protection anyway. Mm -hmm. Bentley's defending right now. Mate's gonna be noticed by Storm here in the back. Gets taken out. Octi pushing across Small Bridge right now with exclusive. They need to take out Nobleman here, and they do. Oh, but Mate spawns right next to them. Bit unlucky there. Storm and Burkett also pushing as well. Try and get the uh, trade off here. Burkett's Storm gets gonna taken get out. the flag, but it's yeah, not enough though. to be able to walk out of there. Party and Mate pushing across small bridge. Both half health though. I don't think anything. They may be focusing on defending now that they have the one zero lead right now. That's what I would do, especially on a map like this, where they have lower side or they're on red base. I'd focus on defending if I were them. I know Onyx is the only person pushing out on Long Bridge. This could be a push right here. Legez and Party both pushing across. They're into blue base now. They're going to have yeah, help from LV. Quite a lot of teammates from Moldov spawned in to defend that. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing good damage to their defender Kenya. Party is still alive somehow. Might be able to get to the flag. Okay, I look no. able to take him out. On the other hand, Birka does pick up the flag, but he just has no support to get the flag out. Mm -hmm. Octi Storm and Exclusive, as well as Birkett, all spawn. They're probably going to push over Small Bridge now. Three of them pushing over Small Bridge. This could be a pull right now. Exclusive needs to push around back, do some damage with Vulcan. Nobleman doesn't have Vulcan protection. And Exclusive is going to get taken out. Storm needs to push across. Octi gets a bit of damage on Party. But Party does have his repair still. Oh, what the heck? Kenya coming out of nowhere to help Party. Or to help kill Party. But what the heck? I guess he didn't take him up fast Kenya enough. Kenya actually might be able to get the... Uh, oh, he's going to leave the flag off to Burkett. And yeah, he's going to go and try and get the flag. But actually, Burkett goes for the flag as well. So Octi is going to be the one picking up the flag here. Yep, Party, no is, Party does have twin protection, so it's going to be hard for Burkett to be able to break that. Mm -hmm. Both teams pulling. This looks like a standoff for now. Mate comes Form in to help. There. It's going to go down as well. Mm -hmm. Both teams are going to be spawning again because everyone kind of died. Oh, wait. They may get a return. Legaze versus Bentley, but Bentley... Does Bentley have protection? No, he doesn't. Holy cow. Legaze yeah. was doing a ton of damage there. 
Bentley, someone doing such a open day reader, so someone just scrapped. Yes, Cyborg, we are reading chat. Just trying to focus on the match right now. Mate is the one holding the flag right now. Exclusive is the one holding flag on blue team. LV and Nobleman pushing in. Nobleman gets taken out. It's just LV's job now. LV's going to be super low. Use this to repair kind of early. Oh, LV gets taken out. Lege's pushing across as well. Just by himself, 1v4 here. He needs help from Onex. I don't really see anything big happening. Onex is there. He doesn't really have double damage, okay. though. So. Yeah, Molda really do need to defend right now. Mm -hmm. There's ILV coming in, and he has full health as well. Kenya might. He's not Could the strongest. Be the nobleman coming in, too, and he... Does not have his armor and his first aid. Legas as well. If he gets his double damage, he can do a ton of damage to Octi. Yeah. He doesn't well, get it. Does Legas have first? No, Legas doesn't have first nope. aid either. All the triple drops coming with Burkitt. This could be a return. I think it will be. Double damage. Doing a ton of damage to Mate. Oh, he's hitting a wall, I guess. I didn't see what was going on there. I think it's return. Yes, it is. Return. And maybe a capture for Moldova. Can, and... Yeah, is he going to be able to get the capture? Onyx is really oh, close. The woman is do. in here too, and that's the equalizer. Tied up game here. They lost. Next, lost their lead. Don't know what they're going to do here. They're probably going to go for the attack right now. Leges and Onyx all pushing on Small Bridge along with LV and Mate. They need to do a push now. Two minutes remaining. If no one notices Onex, oh, they do, I guess. Exclusive's going to get taken out here. Was the call not made? Oh, Kenya turns around and notices him. Kenya has 35% protection, so Onex is doing barely no damage. Probably only 800 damage a shot. Hardy and Mate pushing across Big Bridge. Lege's on Small Bridge. They need to make a distraction here. Take out Kenya with this shaft. Exclusive doing a ton of damage with this Volk in there. LV is also pushing. Ooh, LV gets taken out. What? Wait, LV what? Pushing, How did he sell the shot? I think that was a glitch or something. Maybe the map. <laughs> That's a bit disappointing there. Yeah. I I was about to say that LV is coming out right now, and he was the only <laughs> one who was not noticed. So he had a really good chance at attacking, but I don't know what just happened. That's actually funny. What the heck? <laughs> it's funny, but it kind of sucks for LV. All right, LV pushing behind. I don't think anyone notices him. Shoots a shot as late as he can. Needs to take up Bentley here. He does. He needs help from Legge's and Mate. Yeah, he can pull the flag. I suppose going to lock on, and he's not going to be able to go anywhere. Nobleman, actually, he's still not been noticed. Why does he go for Bentley? I would have snuck around uh, the back. Yeah, exactly. You should have just gone around the back, but nevertheless, he has now, and he does look Promising. Doesn't have double armor though, so he's going to be taken out super fast here. Max just keeps badgering them, pushing left and right every time they spawn. Good job by them, making sure to keep the push going. LV's pulling the flag right now. He's going to have help from Party. They need to take out Bentley right now. This could be a cap, I think. So. Oh, he runs into a wall. Oh, that's oh, no. That's going to be hard luck. That, that was, that was he it. He could have capped if he didn't run into that wall. Yeah. 16 seconds left. Both teams are tied up. So looks like round two is going to be a tie. Not enough time to cap for either team. I mean, both teams did remarkably well, especially next being on red side. They did a great job compared to first round. But that's going to be the end of second round. That's going to be tied up right now, or tied up for this round. Let's go ahead and choose the winners for the form. Do what? Just. Uh... That's kind of that kind of sucks. I feel bad. They probably could have gotten the cap as well if LV hadn't self destruct out of nowhere. But oh well, tied up right now. They need to go for the victory in round three. I think it's uh, it's a different map. It maybe I'm not sure. Map, they still have yet to leave this map, so we're not sure if it's a new map or same map.
what? Oh, uh, the winners are on the screen. All right. So the winners, guys, are um, Let's Win OK, Rico, and Cyborg Penguin. Hey, Cyborg. Good to see you, bud. Congrats on winning. You guys should receive your promo codes in the form. Make sure you log into the form, guys, or else uh, we won't be able to send it to you if you haven't logged in at ever. But you guys should receive that within a couple of days. And if you don't, don't worry. You'll still get it. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than most. Um, congratulations to you. And I think it, it is a new map, so. Based on what I've seen. Uh, asking, what's the price? It's three containers. Interesting match there. Both teams played good. I don't really know. Next round could go to either team. Yeah, but uh, the first round was a win for Moldov, and the second round was a tie, so that makes Moldov the winner of the first two rounds, giving them mm -hmm. three points. Did Next receive one point for tying, or no? Oh, no, they didn't. Next needs to try and win this next round here to get the three points. Points means everything, especially coming up later in the rounds. This is a qualification round, so or qualification, I guess, yeah, round. <laughs> but points matter. The more points you have, the more likely you're going to be moving on to the next round. So even if it's only one point, a tie, one point's better than no nothing. Very sure. Next they were really close play. to actually winning there. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, the forum is open again, so you want to go and uh, write mm -hmm. it there. Don't worry, we're still trying to find the maps, guys, so... Not answer anywhere, but put your name in the form. Good luck to you guys. Alrighty, so we should be seeing the map now. Uh, it is going to be red alert. No, it's bridges. My bad. Yeah. This map has been. I've actually seen this map more often in the past than I ever have. It's kind of cool seeing these maps being put into esports. Yeah, especially after their matchmaking version of that. Yeah, it's fun to see all these new maps, especially to you know mix up the pool of maps and the. In these tournaments, both sides are relatively even in terms of favor for one side. So yeah, this is a great map to see which team is just better because there's no bonuses, no pluses for each side. I I wouldn't say at least. So round starting here in a couple of minutes. They still have to do official restart, guys. So yes in the meantime if you do if you guys do have any questions for us please leave them in the chat and we'll do our best to answer mm -hmm. the most of them what do you think of this uh half month star month paint stage you like them oh, sorry what do you like the paints in this star month or this half month i guess yeah it's i i mean one of them is really the other one is okay but the other one is definitely really really good uh, I think, and I definitely think that uh, they are getting a bit more better at their non-animated paints. The creative engineer, it's kind of like a color, colorful version of uh, Reporter. And mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, like, you know, previous month we had something else as well. I cannot remember right now. But, yeah, we are getting a lot of more animated paints. But the thing is that, you know, some people, well, I mean, I don't know there are any but myself i do sometimes enjoy normal paints too yes i think the first paint would look good on like legacy skins yeah 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 that, that's definitely the thing you know like legacies you know at that they were made at a time that you know animated paints weren't a thing so you know they are meant to be used with non-animated paints like okay there are a few exceptions but you know mostly if you do use like a non-animated paint especially from the garage then you know 
you'll definitely feel like the old tanky is really there. Yeah, it's funny. GBRK said, please add Battle Royale to tanky. Uh, that'd be cool to see, but I don't think that yeah. could ever be a possibility just because yeah. the size of the map, it just be Actu error. Uh, no, actually, no, 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 no. Okay, well, you know, there are other, uh, you know, uh, there's other games like uh, Warframe, I think, who have like 16 player, uh, what's it called, Battle Royale. What? But yeah, they, 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 okay, the concept of Battle Royale does not mean 100 players. Concept of Battle Royale means, you know, like, you know, spawn in with nothing and then fight your way to the top. Last man standing kind of thing. So, you know, we can have that, like, you know, we have Berlin map, which is like, what's 40 player? Right? I mean, Some, I mean, somewhere I like that. We, uh, an event would be cool, maybe, like... Maybe. Have... The thing you can do is, like, you pick out a turret and a hull. And then, you know, progressively, you loot, I, mean, I don't know, loot or what, but you get upgrades. So, you know, like, basically, maybe you start off with a Mark 1 railgun, then, you know, towards the end, you get to a Mark 7, kind of like that, maybe, or like a Mark 7, then which gets micro bridge into it. Like, you know, maybe it can be made. Like, in this kind of game, I definitely think it's going to be a bit more difficult, but it could be possibly done. Yeah, possibilities. That'd be fun to see, I guess. It's kind of, uh, Battle Royale, that'd be fun to see in a way. If you actually played uh, the, what's I think it was like demo, yeah, they had uh, for a while on their website. They actually did that where you know you would go around and you know your turret would change in game, like mm -hmm. without going to the garage. So yeah, they can, they do have the resources to pull that off. Sounds cool. Kashan asked. Can you win two times? Uh, no, you cannot. So let other people win if you've already won. Or at least you can win multiple streams, but you can only win one time per stream. Let's go ahead and choose the winners for the second time. All right. If loyalty wants to show everyone who got into or answered it, that'd be cool. Yep. Scroll through the list. Let's go ahead and pick the next three winners. <clears throat> you know what I do miss, though, from Tanky? I miss that tutorial they used to have. Do you remember that, Dage? The tutorial uh, at the very beginning? There was this tutorial in, like, 2014 where you could drive around, and it's like this. It was... Uh, with the Mammoth, starting with the Mammoth and Digital Paint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Thunder and Mammoth or something. And then, you All know, right. progressively, you know, one time you would get Twins and then Firebird and then Hornet. Mm -hmm. So the winners are Al Sarbin, Survivor Paws, and Baby.Arms. Nice names, guys. Uh, congrats, on, congrats on winning that. Six winners picked. Three more winners left to go, guys. Official restart finally happened on the Bridges map. So, yep. round three will start here in a minute, 45 seconds. The broadcaster wants to show the map. Tanky X. I'm not so sure. I don't think it did. <laughs> that would have been actually kind of funny if it did. But I don't think it'd fit in a game main just for tanks. I mean, you have games like... Uh, I don't even know what the games are, but you have games like that, but that's more open world in a way. It's a lot bigger than yeah. what tank. Round three starting in a minute here. Bridges map is definitely a fun one to see, especially going under the bridges and going around. It's decently big for an esports map. I'd say Barda may be one of the biggest, if not... Uh, I don't know. What do you think is the biggest map for esports, Dage? Parma, maybe. Parma? Maybe. Yeah. Blueberry Estallion said, why is Taspin's voice so soothing? I don't know, man. Sometimes I'm going with cats. That's all oh, I can say. Yeah, that, you know, if you, the, the best uh, commentating duo would be you and Jade. If anyone Jade. knows that, I that is, Jade. like, yeah. He, was, his, he has, like, an 
ASMR microphone, and that was a whole different thing, brother. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be fun to hear. Yeah. To have that and you at the same time is gonna be would be crazy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, one thing I do see as a change is Legus is not using Vulcan anymore. He is gone to Goss, actually. Mm-hmm. Noble Man is now the Vulcan. Yep. Or I think so it was no, our... and Mate is gonna be the Firebird now. Mm-hmm. Actually, Party is on a light. Oh yeah, actually, uh, I remember from the last stream that. They do have, uh, you know, as this is a new map, they are also going to be having new equipment combos. So, you know, uh, their crossouts are different for uh, these two rounds. Mm-hmm. ONX pulling the flag right now. He has fire damage, so he's going to be taken out. Oh. Pulling? oh, both teams are pulling right now. TIY is actually a new player for, I Maldova, think it, yep. Yeah, Moldova. So he's going to be maybe crucial part of Moldova's team. Mate and LV, as well as Onyx, going to try and return this flag here. Octi has double armor and double damage now. Mate picks Ooh, up the flag. Looks like he's going to be taken out, though. And he will be. Returned for both teams. Good job by both of them. Yeah. That's usually what you see, is both teams are turning around at the same time because both teams are pushing as well to return. So there's going to be no defense. Yep, it is a longer match, so the Vulcans are going to be a bit, a lot more crucial here because you know there is going to be open areas where they can shoot across the map and uh, almost into the enemy base. Mm-hmm. Legaze is pushing across the bridge, but he gets taken out by exclusive or I guess by Tor. Right now, Bentley's pulling the flag with Hornet. It's an interesting combo to see. Yep, Hornet. Noble is Nobleman spawns at Vulcan right behind. Bentley is actually going a good, decent way. Might be a solo capture here. Are you sure? Wow. Just, what the heck? Oh, uh, we need to. No, we wait, tried wait. to style it. No party. There's no way. Oh no. my god. That style. They just threw that cap. Yeah, so hard. <laughs> Why? Kind of, he kind of. Oh, yeah. Himself. Bentley. Yeah, I mean, you did a great job, but you also did. The opposite uh, at the same time. Maybe he can do the same thing here, just zooming into the base. I think that's his plan right now, because he's just zooming past all the enemies. You mean, although he did not do a good amount of damage, or else Storm would have been able to get in a good attack here. Mm -hmm. But he gets taken out pretty quickly. Party may have the same idea here. He's also taking Hornet. Mate and Onex trying to push here. They're being... They both got taken out. Storm's pushing left side. Well, Mate is actually behind him. Storm does not realize that, so he thinks that he is might he might be able to pull here. But Storm goes on to mines, which are going to do a lot of damage. That railgun shot did a ton of damage to him. Yeah, that's true. that's true. Mm -hmm. Right now, nothing big is happening. Both teams playing, I say, pretty well, defending and attacking. Around the same speed. Storm is here to take out Party. Maybe he can push up here. LV is also pushing on the opposite side. Storm's gonna grab this flag here. He's probably gonna be taken out by Nobleman though. Is, oh, is Storm gonna be able to pull a decent way? He can. Oh, he actually takes out Nobleman as well, but he has no support. And Mate is gonna be able to return coming in from behind. Actually, now Bentley is gonna start pu pushing. No one's on the flag spawn right now, but Onyx has already picked up the, their flag. He needs help. going to get the trade flag. Oh, what the heck? They ran into a wall. Oh, dang. Both Bentley destroyed. does manage oh. to get the flag off. Look how fast he's going. He's just zooming across the entire map. Yep. They need a nobleman here. They do, or he will be taken oh, out. Okay, now don't do the same thing again. Yes, there we go. There we go. There's the yep. first cap for... Yep. Uh, Moldo. Legaze is also taking the flag right now. Ooh, he still has repair. He may be able to. Oh, what the heck? He kills himself there. Or he takes himself out. LV and Party pushing across the bridge as well. Um, Party might be able to go below and get the Nitro? No, he does not opt for it. He gets his own one, and now he's going to go down. But Octi oh. is still there in the enemy base, so he and is going to be able to well. 
defend that pretty well. I'll be doing the distraction. Party what? goes on a mine. Dang. Mate and Onex also pushing here, as well as Nobleman on the big bridge. I exclusive is just sitting on that middle bridge and just defending left, right, center. He's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Kenya's just going to get his railgun shots off. Mate there, trying to take him out before he gets it repair. Leg is also doing repair. a good job of doing a lot of damage from a distance. I, like, that's really good with that cost. Mm -hmm. Right now, Legays and Onex, as well as Mate, coming from behind. This could be a pull for next. Onex needs Onyx to get across. Rolling. Onex uses repair full health now. Don't run into a wall. He can pull across the bridge here. He needs. I think this could be a huge pull for next. He has Mate, Mate and Nobleman all there to help pull. Mate going down below. Mm -hmm. Octi and Bent Tor and Bentley both here to help. Oh, this could be a return. Oh, Ooh, Bentley gets taken out. Onyx with the flag. I exclusive is gonna pick up the flag, although he's been spotted by Legas. But Legas exclusive has exclusive has good supplies. He could they be need to take out exclusive. Party's doing no damage to him at all. Yeah, exclusive is gonna go down. Storm has to go and pick up the flag. Octi is the one getting to it, but ILV is going to be able to kill him. Oh, actually, he does have uh, protection, so he should be good. Drawn, Afla coming in. Mm -hmm. Both teams are pulling the flag now. This looks like a standoff unless Mate oh, can Octi use... coming in to support. This might be a return. Wow, yeah. Bentley is there too. Two Firebirds is really good. Oh. LV is going to be able to hold on to the flag. Close return for Maldova, but Next was able to help defend, and they kept the flag. Onyx gets taken out here, the only one to rival Maldova's Ooh. team to get the return. Ooh, three players exclusive and Storm trying to get this return here. He actually could, what the heck? Oh, Nobleman takes him out, got pretty low. Bentley gets flipped, a bit disappointing there. Kenya gets taken out as well. Mate's trying to return the flag, trying to kill Octi here. Gets taken out by exclusive pretty fast, I might add. Octi going in uh, with the support of Storm. Octi get taken out really quickly with Legas Goss. Mm -hmm. Party's taken out. Goss is a really difficult turret to be used because it does a lot of team damage, so you have to be really careful. It's Which is why, on the other hand, uh, we see Moldov using oh, two Firebirds. Good. Yep. Oh, is this going to be a return? Mate gets oh, a return. Actually, exclusive helps the return. On the other hand, Bentley is going to start pulling the flag again. That's kind of funny. Both teams always return at the same time. That's what you usually yeah. find. Kenya, they need to take the flag. This is it. As long as they defend their base, this could be... Nobleman is going to be able to do good damage, and that's going to be a return. Party gets that nice return. Party is doing a lot of damage. Nobleman in the enemy base is going to be dangerous. He's going to be he might be able to pull, a, pull the flag here because he's a Vulcan. He's doing a good support lag. job for his teammate, but Party pushes him back. Wow, I got some lag there and I'm spectating. That was kind of weird. Party kind of pushed him backwards into the flag. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people shooting there. Storm's going to be pushing into next space. No one's there to defend. Storm's going to be able to pull this flag. He's lagging a bit there. Oh, oh, next flex. Storm is going to be met against Mate. If he can get the kill, he does and not. He does. Mate gets returned there. Party was pulling as well. Ooh, oh. LV. LV is going to be able to pull here. Oh. Legus might be able to get to the flag. Exclusive is just demolishing them right now. Very they true. Exclusive. They need to. Yep, although Exclusive is on a really good path here. Wait, Legacy. actually, they're using two Railguns and two Firebirds. Wow. So they only have, like, three unique turrets. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Bentley is actually going to be pulling this flag super fast with that Hornet again. This looks like a very promising pull for Moldova. Oh, what the heck? LV came out of nowhere, just gets that return. Wow. That's kind of, 
I didn't, I didn't even notice um, LV there. That's kind of funny. Party's going to try and push in as well. Exclusive, just going to do heaps of damage to Party here. He, keep, he keeps stop shooting. Voice crack. All right. <laughs> I was trying to say something. I don't even know. Oh, I was going to say exclusive is doing a ton of damage there. And there we go. Round three has finished. That's going to be a round three victory for Moldova. Good job to them. If they keep this up or tie next round, they get three points again. Very promising for them. They're doing a great yeah. job. And let's go I mean, ahead. And considering Bridges is a uh, decently, you know, uh, like balanced map. Fair, we yeah, sh there should not be that many, you know, differences. I think maybe there there's definitely a good chance that uh, next is next could potentially win the next round because we ahead. currently we see only three special turrets, like three unique turrets, I should say, on Moldov's side. Yeah, we're yeah, we're gonna be opening the farm for two minutes right now. Good job to um, Maldova. They're doing a great job. I think that they could have gotten three flags there, but twice Bentley ended up getting taken out or flipping himself and returning. <laughs> that was kind of funny there. Bentley, I think, got flipped like four times that round. But so far, I don't really know. Next needs to win this round to get the tie. They can't go with home without getting at least one point. Even though it's only one point, one point's a lot better than having nada, zero points. So next, it's going to be interesting to see if they change up the roster, maybe change up equipment, try and get some working combos in here. They did a good job last round. I just don't think they're doing good enough against, against Moldova, at least. Although it was a great team, and next needs to step it up just to get one point, I guess. 30 seconds here until round four starts. You guys see the map again. Both teams should start selfing here in about five seconds. Storm, still same combo. I think it's just mainly the same combos right now. Both teams selfing, and round four is officially started. Yeah, both teams look... It looks like they're both using same combos. They yep. worked out Moldova. You'd think... Moldova is... Yeah, Moldova is definitely using the same combos as before. Although, on the other hand, we have Legas who has changed from Goss to Ricochet now. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the Ricochet, I believe, was LV before? Mm -hmm. So LV is now taking Hammer, and Hammer was before Onyx, so Onyx is now in Goss. Alrighty. They are trying oh. attacking like from the start, but it's not really working out for them. Yeah, I haven't really seen any official like huge pushes. Most of the pushes just come from the Hornets just taking the flag and zooming across the map, is what I've noticed. That's true. Yeah, yeah Bentley, Bentley definitely did a good job. I think they Probably would have won by 2 0 if mm -hmm. he uh, didn't manage to flip himself in the first try. But yeah, that's definitely the reason why they won for sure. Exactly. Exclusive gets taken out. They need to focus on taking out the Vulcans here. Bentley actually still in the enemy base, but he gets shot by a party, which is going to make him very low on health now. He does self destruct, though. Smart decision from him. Storm needs to take out Legays here if he wants to go for a good push. Ooh, Kenya does not get a shot off. Storm is going to take a bit more damage than he should have. Now Storm might be able to pu push. Legays gets a good spawn to defend as well. Mm -hmm. Bentley comes in. This is going to be a fail attack. Nothing really huge happened so far. Two minutes into the round. Next needs to make a push here if they want to get a point. Yeah, we see LV and Leg is trying to attack, but Exclusive is on the back long bridge. It's going to do a lot of damage, not allowing them to get to the flag. On the other hand, Storm actually picks up the flag. He has no help, though, as long as he can get past Party. this could. Does be he have first aid? 
Uh, does, does not look like it, but Tar he might be able to get the flag off to uh, Afla. Afla does not use. Oh, he did a good job. Uh, he did a good job with Nobleman, but uh, Kenya came out. Uh, actually, Mate was the one who came out from the side to return the flag. Hmm, exclusive helping defend here. I think that's his main role. LV and Onex pushing into Maldova's base. Onex gets taken out, and LV is going to get taken out here by fire damage. Bensley going in for a solo push again, but you should know that their enemy uh, defender is definitely going to be uh, in Firebird, so you should probably use some Firebird protection. Hmm. Leg Abes was pulling there, but he gets taken out by Bentley. Onex trying to make a push here, but he's by himself. And he doesn't really do that much damage with Gauss. Unless you use the special ability, Gauss is just kind of like... Yeah, and away. especially against uh, people with 35% protection. Like, that's not going to be enough to do enough damage. That'd be hilarious if the Gauss alteration was in this. That'd oh, be... that, would, so that, would, that would... This, this would be broken. Uh-huh. That would be two on each team, and you know they would be only they would like it would be like a two v two, mm -hmm. taking everyone's supplies away. That'd be funny yeah. to see. Constantly. Although they do they do restock uh, quickly that way. So if if they are on cooldown and then you shoot them, their their cooldowns is going to be like five two seconds or three seconds or whatever it is. Bentley does a good job at not returning the flag until last minute because he saw Legates pushing in. LV was pulling the flag there, but he gets taken out. One oh, next pushing in it again. Oh, what the heck? Oh, 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 Did he purposely self destruct or was that another glitch? Uh, I believe that was a purpose because I think he knew okay. that he was not going anywhere. But on the other hand, we do have exclusive. Now Kenya's pulling. Kenya's the, by himself, though. Uh, he's going to get taken out. What the heck? He was shot by like four different turrets there. Afla doing a good job, doing a good damage from the other side of the map. Mm -hmm. Storm's gonna be pulling right now. Just uses repair. Oh, Storm's done a really good job at pushing all, at all times. Storm and Beer cut. Now Bentley's gonna pick up the flag. Okay. Nobleman yeah. can potentially do a good amount of damage if he gets to the point. No, Bentley's Bentley. Gonna, what the heck? He Ooh, he gets on a mine. Where did that mine come from? <laughs> I think it was. Who even placed that? Were they not? Yeah, taking like, yeah, like you know, that mine is in the enemy base. That was that must have been so difficult to put and you know survive till he puts on it. But Leg is now pulling the fly, and this does look promising. Although mm -hmm. on the other hand, we all already have Bentley, I exclusive, and Kenya ready to uh, defend as well. Exactly. Tor's been asked to refresh. He's been lagging a bit. Bentley. Ooh, Kenya hits his own teammate. Oh. Bentley going in, it has a return. Very cool. well timed. Wow, that Vulcan just kind of destroyed Nobleman there. Very sure. Yeah, yeah, it gave up on him. That, like, you know, in situations like that, you would be able to think that, yeah, the Vulcan might be able to support itself, but really didn't work like that there. Party mm -hmm. is going to be able to pull the flag. What yeah, the Party's heck? been left unnoticed. He has almost full health, and he's going to go rush back to his own base. Yeah, I think definitely Octi did, took a very long time sitting at the uh, bridge, waiting. Nova still has the lead, though. If Next wants to win, they're going to have to get a cap, two caps. They're going to have to return. Yep. And twice. Storm going in for a solo return again, and he is able to do so. Now, why exclusive picks up the flag? It's going to go through the long bridge, and there's no one who's going to be able to do any damage to him. So this still. looks like a second capture. Second capture from Maldova. Good job by them. They're yeah. just proving themselves. They're proving that they are a pretty good team, even when they're on the wrong side of the map, especially from Tribute. Very sure. Both teams. Uh, Both yeah, teams are I good, just, but I think Maldova's just doing better. I, yeah, I, one thing I would say that I don't think Onyx is doing as good of a job with Goss as Legus was. Like, yeah. I, I don't think I've seen one single lock-on shot from him yet. I, I, he just actually did a lock-on shot, but still. Yeah, we do a lot more. I just stuff. saw him in. Uh, he was on the bridge, and there were three enemies in the opposite uh, side near the flag. There's a perfect opportunity for you to use your lock on, but for some reason, he's still going for the single shots. 
the only problem with this format is that there's always going to be like that one person who gets the worst combo because there's only a certain amount of good turrets that can be on one team. Yeah, that is true. Ooh, Hardy gets a nice shot on Storm and gets the return. Two and a half minutes left. Next still needs two flags. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think Maldova is going to get six points. Oh, wow, they need three flags now. Yeah, I think that's impossible. Maldova is going to get six points for today. That's a big... Well, he's going to get taken out. Bentley is going to have another flag to himself. Two minutes left. He does have a time for maybe even another capture. Let's see if they are able, to, if they manage to get this one first. He is okay. very low on health. Kenya is going to spawn there. Legas is the one defending it. Wow, he gets taken out by Exclusive, who is just sitting in the enemy base doing a lot of damage. On the other hand, Nobleman and LV are going to be able to pull the flag as well. Kenya doing some nice shots with his railgun. Nobleman taking out. LB uses the repair. And tries to cut him off, but he gets flipped. Good shot by Party. Both teams polling right now. I don't really think it matters at this point. We know Maldova's going to win this round. But maybe if they can yeah. at least shorten the lead, make it look like they did somewhat decent. They're doing a good job here. I just don't think they're doing... I just don't think they're coordinated enough to pull out the victory. Yeah. I want to ask you using the Goss properly now. Mm -hmm. So I finally done started doing some damage. Oh, exclusive might go down. Nobleman is going to get the return, and Mage should be able to get the capture. First cap for next there. That was actually a good cap. If they yeah, played very like good. The last three rounds, they definitely could have done a lot better than they did. Yep. Um, LV, I LV is going to be able to pull flag again. They, this is a good opportunity for them because their base kind is sort of clear. Storm is the only one pushing right now. Although they don't have anyone in defending in defense yeah, either. either. 40 seconds left. I don't think they can do much anymore. Onyx is going to be able to do good damage, but Storm does have God's protection. Kenya does too. I think what... Am I seeing... Oh, what, I, God's protections. Yeah, Gossip there's so many protections. There's four of them. Four of them. Have maybe five. five. I think maybe five. Afla doesn't have it. That's one. He's barely been using his ability, and they all took protection. Yeah, yeah, there's four. That's true. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, that's... Per, so. That's the third yeah. cap. Over. Seven seconds left. This is going to finish up round four here. Congratulations wow. to Maldova. They're going to get six points, and this is going to be a great boost they need if they're down below in the rankings. Yeah, that's true. The winners for form three. Yep. And the stream will be ending. So good luck to everyone. Let's go ahead and pick the winners. Good job by Moldova. They definitely just, I feel like they're just more kind of coordinated today. Yeah, I mean, they, they, had a, they made the uh, you know, tough decision of using only three unique turrets. But mm -hmm. they were still, you know, they were confident with it. And they actually did manage to win. So that's going to be uh, really like, you know, a thing that, you know, even if you don't have enough turrets available, you can just use uh, different sets. Like, you know, two players can use it. All right, so the winners are going to be Tanky Expert 1, Thunder Whip 2.0, and Virtue. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, okay. guys. You should be getting your 10,000 crystals as promo codes very, very soon. Make sure you have logged into the forum so we can give, uh, give you the promo code uh, there. It will be sent there. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's stream. This was Next versus Maldova setups tournament and qualification round. Um, thank you, Dage, for commentating with me today and Loyalty for being the broadcaster. Let's give a round of applause for both of them today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. There will be more streams. Go ahead and subscribe to the Tanky Esports channel and turn on notifications to, so that you don't miss more streams like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.